Hello friends, my name is Anurag Sedana and in this series of lectures, I am going to teach you how can you use api.ai inside your android and web projects. So uh, uh, in these lectures, we are basically going to focus on android, but I am pretty sure that after going through these videos, you can also use api.ai inside your web projects because in these lectures we are going to we are just going to use get and post call which is a rest framework provided by api.ai so it can also be used in your web projects uh, to get the relevant data so that's it and we'll go step by step uh, firstly what uh, what is api.ai so api.ai is a platform to platform provided by google to embed nlp functionality to your projects without even knowing about artificial intelligence yeah if you don't even know and uh, anything about artificial intelligence still you can use nlp functionality inside your projects so what is nlp actually nlp stand for uh, natural language processing and uh, it is it is basically the ability of a computer program to understand human speech uh, in human speech and its different versions and fetch relevant information from this speech so let me give you a practical example to give you more understanding of api.ai and nlp so let's say there are three persons a b and c who want to order a pizza yeah pizza a b and c want to order a pizza so what would they do they would just call Domino's and order a pizza for themselves. So let's say A would first call, and let's say uh, there's an agent on the other side of call who would respond to the queries of A, B, and C. So let's say A would first call, and he would say that, Sir, I want to order one margarita medium pizza. So now, what would the agent do? Agent would ask for the base of pizza. So he would say that, Sir, can you please tell me the pizza base you, you would like to order now a would respond that sir okay uh, i would go with thin 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 base so that's it uh, let's say uh, agent already know the addresses of a b and c now uh, agent will respond that sir okay your pizza will be delivered to you shortly uh, now let's say now, now let's say b would call after a and he would say that sir i want uh, sir i want to order one pizza now what would agent do agent would ask for the category of pizza first so he would say that sir please can you please tell me the category of which you want to order a pizza so b would say that sir okay okay i want to order a margarita pizza uh, now agent would again respond that sir can you all can you please also tell me the size of pizza you would like to buy so now the b, b would say that okay sir i, I, go, I would go with large pizza so now again agent would ask for the base of pizza and b would say that okay i would go with uh, thick base so that's it would be uh, now agent would say that sir okay your pizza will be delivered to you shortly now it comes to c so c would call and he would say that sir i want to order a cheese margarita medium side size with thin base so c has already provided all the information so there is no need to ask for anything by agent so agent would directly say that sir okay your pizza will be delivered to you shortly so that's it now what is agent on the other side of phone is doing it is basically processing the different sentences of three different persons uh, and uh, fetching the relevant information from it but all three of these sentences belongs to same category yeah you getting it all three of these sentences belong to same category which is ordering a pizza all three of the persons are trying to ordering a pizza but using different sentences with having uh, different information in those sentences so agent is basically processing those sentences and fetching relevant information from it and if some information is missing uh, he is asking for that information and now uh, and fetching that information only now after taking an order after fetching the relevant information from the sentences what would agent do agent would just direct his uh, employees to make a particular order and deliver that order to a particular so that's it that's the uh, work of agent 
so api.ai is working as a agent in this whole scenario so what would uh, in this practical scenario to use this practical scenario inside our projects api.ai would do the whole work uh, here uh, which the here agent is doing so he would process the natural language where api.ai would process the natural language would fetch the relevant information from it and would uh, assign uh, would uh, decide the different actions which is to take place different uh, depends upon the different sentences so that's it that's the work of api.ai so that's it my friends in the upcoming videos we will learn that how to recognize uh, a speech of human by api.ai and process that speech and fetch relevant information from that speech and decide the different actions which is to be performed depending upon the speech of human we'll learn all of this stuff in my upcoming videos so thank you for watching thank you that's it my friends thank you for watching my video and stay tuned for to learn all these stuffs in my upcoming videos thanks